Yeah, straight away looking at this red, you know, I knew I'd got half a chance of potting it and, and playing for a playing for a ball colour. Heart rate's already pounding here and crowd desperate for an early yellow. Just add a little bit more pressure. To be honest, this was probably the worst couple of shots I've played in the entire break, because there I've just sort of played for the red over the hole, thinking oh, I'll find a way onto a colour, but landed a bit in no man's land really. Um, again, sort of playing between the two reds on the cushion here. Flicking the first one and <laughs> drifting around the back of the second was... Uh, well, the luckiest thing about it is that the black does just about still go. Um, I never checked and, you know, to this day I don't know how I potted it and... Tricky, only half yeah. the Scary that it went in, really, because it didn't really go. I don't think I'd have gone for it if I was bang behind it, had I known. But immediately here, I'm thinking, yeah, this is this is the absolute dream. My first final, deciding frame, so to speak, you know, in the shootout final, and the ball was just perfect. Coming into the tournament, he learned just 14,500 all season. Although he has qualified. Although throughout the whole tournament, you know, I wasn't trying to, to score really heavy. Just, you know, you feel like 20, 30 points is, is 50 or 60. So at this point now, I'm trying just not to miss, which is, you know, why the next few shots I'm slightly out of position because I'm just concentrating so hard on the, on the pot. And didn't hit that one well at all. Two feet short, which is you know obviously a big margin of error. Um, but this was this was probably my best shot in the final. Hit this one really good. It's always nice when one hits the back of the leather when you when you bang under pressure. No, honestly though, yeah, I felt relatively relaxed. Um, you know, I was just in the zone at this point. You know, we played four matches already in the day, and it's all pretty quick fire at the end. So when it actually came to the final, I, I don't think I'd felt anywhere near this comfortable, and, and definitely didn't expect to feel almost ready. In a way, I think you know this tournament's merit is the fact that you have to play quickly. You don't have time to think, and you know that's probably been one of my biggest issues in my career: is overthinking and allowing my brain to get in the way. So having to do things at the drop of a hat has uh, maybe done me a favour this week. The only reason I didn't play the yellow is because they were screaming yellow, and it makes it more difficult to pot it. So. Chickened out a bit on the blue, hoping to you know, get a little cannon here and you know, it worked out a treat. Left myself a red and... No, you know, this is a golden chance here, you know. Just need to play one good positional shot. One good positional shot, get the, con get the Q1 under control. Unfortunately, I, I didn't get it for about four or five shots. Um, Just missed the yellow here by a gnats. Absolute whisker. But now though, you know, it's, it is absolutely golden chance. And I'm not thinking about, you know, the points or running the clock down now. I'm literally thinking about just trying to win the frame because this is as good a chance as you're ever going to get. His touch is absolutely spot on at the moment. He's just... Couldn't quite get the left hand side on there because of that red next to the cue ball. The last thing I wanted was to foul at this point, knowing how dangerous Julian is. You know, he's played so good throughout the whole tournament that if you give him ball in hand here, you can fully expect to be uh, getting the runners up medal. This is the last shot, really. You know, this is just a fraction lower on the black than you'd like, but it's still a 99 out of 100. At this point now, I'm, I'm starting to realise that this is the one. 
63. To be honest, I, I managed to blank out the audience for the entire break to this point, never listened to them once. But obviously, the, the support for the audience is phenomenal, and, and the atmosphere in there was just like, it's something that I'll never forget, but now that I know that I'm over the line, you can hear every word from every single member of the audience willing you on to make a hundred, willing you on to make the highest break. Um, chanting, you know, you are a champion. Was, it just went, it went straight through to my bones, you know. It was... Just the, the feeling that you've always dreamt of, you know. Just an autopilot now. The pockets just seem enormous and the whole atmosphere is, is just so overwhelming. But it's nice at this point, you know, that, that even Julian is undoubtedly willing me to clear up because, you know, it's, the, the game's over at this point. Um, the only person I'm hoping I'm going to miss will be Ali Carter because the, the highest break's in danger. Just launched my extension. <laughs> Just desperate to clear up before the time runs out. This this moment here, when this yellow goes in, I give it the both arms up and let the audience just respond to it. It's the greatest roar I've ever heard. It really was like just pure magic and I know I'm not going to miss now. Well, that's right. It would be the perfect ending. The high break in the last frame. Five thousand pounds on top of the fifty. It's currently under the seventeen. Harry Carter. One hundred and eight. You can't win the shootout with a better performance than this in the final. One visit. Undoubtedly, a day that I will never ever forget. Well, it must be said, when this pink goes in, I just, I completely switched off, you know. That was, that for me was the end. I, I ticked every box. And I finished with a flurry. <laughs> but it was, you know, it was all over by that point. Just, just astonishing. Genuinely astonishing. He's come through the pack in this most unpredictable of student tournaments. The crowd on their feet to salute the 2023 snooker shootout champion it is Chris Wakelin still doesn't seem real in a lot of ways but the trophy the trophy sat on the on the sideboard at home tells a very different story